Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Emma and here we talk about motherhood, homeschool and lifestyle. I have an eight-year-old boy and today I want to give you a flip through the pages from the story of the world. This is Ancient Times from Susan Wise Power from the World Train Mind. And I decided to go with these two books. It does come in a bundle. I think the bundle is $78.61 or something around that. Uh, if you want as well, you can just purchase the books separate just like I did. Uh, they have as well a test book that rounds goes around 1035 to 1295 if I'm not wrong. I didn't purchase the test book. So far we just have these two books and I have the book that we're going to be using for reading and we have the one for that is the activity book and as I said you can purchase them separate it does come four volumes we have the volume one which is the one that I have here this is ancient times it goes from the earliest nomads to the last Roman Emperor then they have volume two the Middle Ages volume three early modern times and volume four, the modern age, four volumes, okay? But we are going to start with volume one. And he was at a public school before, just a year ago. We've been homeschooling for a year. And I noticed that with history, not quite sure what type of history they were teaching him, but <laughs> I think he needs a little bit more in regards history. I do think history is important. It's important to know how things were happening back then and how they are happening now. And I decided to go with this program. I like that it goes, it, it goes as a narration. And it has, as you can see, some maps there and some drawings or pictures. It is black and white. I think if I'm not wrong, it has 42 chapters. Let me just make sure. And as you can see, it's 42 chapters. And I think I start backwards so you can pause and screenshot. What I like about this book is that it gives you on the back of the book, it gives you as well, we have the indexing here, but it gives you as well how to pronounce <laughs> the names, which is going to be very helpful for me. It has the appendix and it has, as I said, pronouncing the names of ancient times. It has the chronology of ancient times and I think this is very important and I like the fact that it has it on the back and the, then we have uh, the geography of ancient times so it covers a little bit of geography even though we're going to be geography of the scenes this, this is going to be geography from this time in particular I want to we're going to be doing geography as well separate from the program but I like that it's a narration and I like that it has as well if you purchase this program it comes as well with the audio uh, it has it comes with some CDs so if you don't if your kid is more of a auditory then you might want to just purchase the CD so you can purchase the book and purchase the CD and if you're going to do some groceries and you don't want to uh, waste time and make sure that they are getting what they're supposed to get with their history you can use them uh, while you're in the car or on a field trip and you can still listening to that uh, as I said I like the book it's very simple, it's black and white, 42 chapters. 
and I purchased as well the activity book ancient times as well and here we have the chapters and I decided to go with this book because obviously as I, as it says on the front cover I don't know why I couldn't say that gives you ideas for activities it has the map answer key it has the uh, blank student map coloring page review cards and for every chapter you have an activity and some questions that you can ask your kid in order to be able to know if they're retaining the information, if they are understanding and comprehending the information that you're giving to them. And here I'm just showing you the photocopying and distributing and the distribution policy. How to use the activity book, multi-level teaching, and important note from parents for the parents using this book in the classroom. In here we have the pronunciation, guys. So you have it in the book that you're going to be reading to them, and then you have it here. Here we have the introduction and it gives you here how do we know what happened and it has the encyclopedia cross references Osborne book of world history we have review questions narration exercise review questions and narration exercise so it gives you ideas all the time and then it has in here the activity projects let's say for these in particular this is what they will be doing so review the questions it, ha it has in here what do we call someone who reads letters journals and monuments to find out about the past a historian what do we call the story that historians write about the past it gives you the questions that you're going to be asking them and as well the answer that you should expect from them Additional history reading, and this is something that I liked a lot because you can extend the lesson even more with this additional reading that they suggest in here and make sure that they are comprehending. I would like as well that it has the activity projects just to make sure that while they are having fun, you're making sure as well that they are comprehending what they are learning at the moment. It tells you the materials, it gives you the directions on how to do it. Okay. This is chapter one, the earliest the earliest people, sorry. And if you see, it gives you references here from the encyclopedia. You can use Osborne Book of World History. Or you can use the Osborne Internet Linked Encyclopedia, as well as the Kingfisher and, and Kingfisher Illustrated History of the World or Kingfisher History Encyclopedia. It gives you the review questions that you're going to be giving to your child, that you're going to be asking your child in order to make sure that they're comprehending what you are, uh, the information that you're giving to them. So here we have the first nomads. Then we have narration exercise, the, fir no the first nomads, and it gives uh, an exercise for them to do. Review the questions. The first nomads become farmers, narration exercise. And here we have additional history reading, readers that you can get in order to extend the lesson correspondent literature suggestions map work coloring page and activity project it does has a coloring page I think for most of the activities that they have in here the lessons that they have in here 
and this is how it looks I don't know if I'm punching everything this is how it looks and I'm sorry I'm doing this with my phone <laughs> but I just want to give you an idea of how it looks some of the activities that they can create it gives you different ideas let's say chapter one can have two or three ideas of different activities that they can pick and choose depends on the materials if you don't want to uh, spend a lot of money you know, you have to save a lot of money you can choose the material the activity that requires materials for you to purchase and I still giving them that the opportunity to do an activity that will relate to that lesson that will relate to what they are studying and that will make sure that they are learning that in a fun way and at the same time take advantage of, of the fact that they will be doing those activities that probably they have never done before because well sometimes us parents we can have certain ideas on what to do and sometimes we don't and it's very helpful if the program already comes with ideas for you to do activities with your kid okay so here we have some of the maps here and here we have the part where your kid is going to work with which is the activity book volume one And there's a lot of maps in here and a lot of coloring pages and a lot of activities if your kid is not that fond of coloring hey it's, it's all good I think you're not missing anything you can just color them yourself and use them as a as a picture study my son is not that much into coloring he but he is interested on in doing these ones but the ones that I see that he doesn't feel like doing, I'm just going to either keep them and try to use them in uh, some other time, or I can just color in them myself and use them more like type of a picture study or, or just to decorate. Or if we are going to review and if we want to review later on then it'll be a good idea to have those coloring pages as well let me just turn the book so you guys can see better And it comes as well on their website they have just a package of just the activity per se the activity pages separate and you can just purchase that as well and I think it's a good idea because then you can just use this as your answer key and uh, you will be doing the activities and then they have the other one or if you have multiple kits and you don't want to be photocopying everything you have in here then you can purchase that as well and it's a uh, very inexpensive I didn't decide to purchase the activity book separate just because I have one kid I have a boy and I'm planning on using uh, these pages if I'm not wrong I might decide to uh, purchase it or at the end or I might just use this one and photocopy if I don't want to detach them from here so if you notice it has a lot of activities coloring pages for them to do maps and 
and here we have for them to do their name in the Greek alphabet. Here we have uh, Conqueror Mesopotamia. This is a type of game. A coloring page, another map. Coloring page. Greek paper dolls. That there was a, there's a long time I don't see these, and I was very happy when I see that uh, it was included here with this activity book, and it gives them an idea of how they were looking back then, how they were dressing, people were dressing back then. I think it's very interesting. Here we have word searches, maps, more games. I hope this gives you an idea of how they look. I think it's a very good program. I can't wait to start with him. I know he's going to enjoy it since it's something that I will be reading to him. It's not something that he's going to be doing himself. I think this is a really good program for us and it's going to work very well or at least that's what I'm hoping so uh, I he knows that he has a lot of activities and he can wait to start as well he's interested on in doing some of the activities I already purchased some of the materials the good thing about this program as well is that it gives you a list of the materials that you're going to need so if you're going to be planning everything you can just make a note of those materials and choose the activities that you're going to be doing with your child as i said it has different type of activity for each chapter or each lesson and for you to be able to pick and choose what you think is going to be more interesting for your kid what is going to get more his or her attention so i think it's a, a good program and i can't wait to start i hope this was helpful so please if it was don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I see you then. Bye-bye.